I am the real detective, Sparkler. All right, now, use a tuition strike. Uh, I'd love to strike down my tuition, man. Student loans are out of control. Hello and welcome back to LP's LP of Princess Peach Showtime. Last episode, we wrapped things up on the fourth floor. In this episode, we're actually returning to the fourth floor because I forgot to talk to this guy. The Kung Fu player having rehearsals. Again, as par for the course, eliminate as many people as possible without taking any damage. 100 points are the goal to get gold and then 40 for brine. So we'll, we'll aim for 40 to start by golly, and we'll see if we can't do so well that we gold it out. I think over the course of this Let's Play each and every full floor, with this being the fourth, uh, I think we have bronzed two and golded one, if I remember correctly. And I probably don't remember correctly because remembering is... Well, difficult for someone to do when you're 30. These guys are very easy. Thank you for just kind of like standing there. Don't run from me. No, they threw a pot. I can't believe it. Just as I was saying that this was easy. Yes, I'd like to try again. Lo and behold, the sea dots throw the pots and that's not what I find hot. So I'd rather they not. And if that can't be, you know, orchestrated in some capacity, then I'm just gonna have to stay away from them or avoid them in some capacity. We know that they spawn up in this high. Yes. Oh, the 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 sprinkle dingle here. C dot. Stop that. Nope. None of you are allowed to throw things at the princess. I want to come do this. Can I get these guys too? Uh, kind of. Not really. Oh hi. Yes. Very good. We've reached the apex of the bronze, and we're closing in on silver. Uh, but these, no, 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 no! Oh, they got me, you gross little demons! It's fine. We don't need to try again. We got bronze. We we got we got a placing, and ultimately that's the goal. Oh, it's difficult to to do anything at all and not get touched a single time. Uh, it's challenging to say the least, and I do appreciate that they put these little mini games in here so that we can test our metal in such a capacity. Beautiful. Ten coins for our trouble. Very good. And now we return upstairs, and we don't have to take the lift because it's but one floor above. We can take the stairway this time. And then where do we want to go? I think we had Kung Fu, Ice Skater, and Mermaid. Amongst the, uh, the four up there, obviously, we did yesterday the Thief. So, I guess... I guess it's Kung Fu! You know, let's just be consistent here. We did Kung Fu as a minigame, and we did Kung Fu here now... ...as a Kung Fu legend... ...of the fifth floor. Very good, and I do enjoy the Kung Fu. It's a very, like, standard sort of fighting side-scroller sort of feel to it. Which I can appreciate. Uh, it, it harkens back. Days of old, cramming the buttons on the SNES to try and make something happen because I was too childish and immature to understand that specific buttons did specific things! And to that effect, I guess sometimes I still do button mash, but hey, we all have our flaws, right? Oh god, they're abducting people, what else is new? Very athletic, though, to run with, with people like that. that. They're heavy, you know, they're the same size. What's up, master? Oh, it's you! It is me! It is me, I will run around you. You won't tell me anything? You just... Excited to see me. Very good. Well, I'll leave. Wait! No, stop! Oh, God! Did you see what happened? This is awful! The bleeding! Oh, no, they're fine. It's okay. I'll bash my way through, and then bash through you, too! You little devils! I'll break your bench, because I'll just hate seeing benches with evil people. We went around back. Uh, it's a secret. I'm buried in, in pots? Been hanging out at the dispensary, I see. Very good! I'll take that. Thank you. What an incredible kick! As he dances. Yes, it is truly incredible that I shattered all those pots around you without touching you or your bulbous nose. Help me! Oh! Hey, don't leave me behind! This guy's sweating everywhere and it smells like garlic. Oh, we have infiltrated the lair. Well, we may as well break all their furniture, too. Because, you know, everyone knows that furniture can be just as evil as humans. I guess these guys aren't humans, are they? They're like grapes, but whatever! Evil grapes, evil furniture, I won't stand for any of it, frankly. Jumping out of the wall? Let me, let me down, please. I want to kick them for jumping out of the wall. I mean, I'm not particularly fond of that, thank you. Alright, back up now. 
you give me heart. I suppose. I, I probably should have timed that up better, but really it's inconsequential anyways. We get so much gosh darn coinage that I don't even feel the need to time that up like I once did. Oh, I am bold. Like coffee. Oh, just how you like it. No one wants to attack, huh? You're too terrified of my big flying feet. Princess Peach wears a size 14 and oh, you feel every single inch of it, don't you? Hello, sweaty. Give him to me. Ha <laughs> ha. Hi there, friend. Thank you. Very good. Hey, so we've got the first one. I think that's the first time in a long time that we actually got the first freaking gem of a stage. We're off to a good start. Oh, you. So we meet again. I'll show you the meaning of pain. I looked it up in the dictionary. It means to be hurt. Ah! Sorry, buddy. Well, I will pain your... We will take definitions all day. Very good. Something, something English classes. Something, something sparkle gem. Oh, and he returns. He's very persistent. Playtime is over <laughs> for now. I must go to work. All right, I got to work at nine to five because these bills don't pay for themselves. Have you seen the size of this place? The rent's atrocious. I know. I know, man. Housing, it's out of control. Lots of holes in the wall for these dudes to squeeze on out of. They keep doing it. Uh, there's three hearts over here. Do we even need them? We'll take them, I guess. Why not? Because if we don't, then maybe an evil entity will take them. And we can't be having that. All right, if there's one thing I don't like more than evil entities, it's evil entities with all of their organs. It's not allowed. You must be missing at least a dozen. A dozen? I don't know. That's probably egregious. You must be missing at least two, okay? Well, call it gracious. Come here, buddy. Your organs are mine. And so is your hostage. Thanks. Oh, we're three for three to start. Wow, don't look now, people, but things are going pretty well. <laughs> Oh, time to fireman it. All the way down. Yes, yeah, smack everyone. Oh, lovely. The people and their pottery, too. Just as Link would have you do. We left a coin back there, but... Oh, it's fine, isn't it? We don't need them. Yes, oh, how he flees, but it's no use. You can't run from me. Thank you. Uh, we missed one. Look at that. I, I, not even ten seconds ago, I feel like I was just, Hey, we're doing so well. Lo and behold. I missed them. Can I go over here? Thank you. I want to get these. And then I wonder if we're supposed to... I don't want to go that way. I want to go up. Mm. Whoa, we're hopping all over the place. Let's get there. Mm. There we go. We did it. But do we want to be up here? Hold on. Let me just... Oh, yes, yes, yes. So it's... Uh, which way is the way? It doesn't tell me. And part of the problem with this game is that there's no backtracking. You go one direction, it's like, well, you've made your choice forever. <laughs> you better restart the level if you want to do anything different. And I don't care for that. I can't even get up here. Get this. Thank you. Really? <gasps> really? What is the meaning of this? We're moving past that thing five, six, seven times now. It's about to make my choice for me whether or not we go that direction at all. Hmm. Okay. Assuredly, we, we can do this, right? We did it once, and it wasn't this hard. Why is it... Why are we having so much problems with it? I say we, myself, speaking in the, in the what, like the fourth person? There we go. Okay. Yes, this is not the way to go. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I know that sounds counterproductive. Yay, we went the wrong way. <laughs> but, but it just means that we get a backtrack. Of which uh, those capabilities are usually precious few. Onward to the right, but I guess look at that. We could we could have retracted here. Could have went back. Whatever, it's fine. Our bed's been made now. We may as well lie in it, or fold our clothes on top of it, or whatever you do with a bed. Moving on ahead, presumably there's going to be a bad guy right here, and we're going to need to kick his head or his liver, whatever things, whatever's closest, really. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Thank goodness we're all safe now. Yay. <laughs> yes, it's good to be safe. Oh, God, purple stuff. Help. <laughs> I'm allergic. Oh, useless. All of you. Oh. Hello. Let's see how you handle this. Ah, purple. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I love purple. I kick it back at you. 
Here we go. What is this, Ganondorf? Phantom Ganon from Ocarina of Time. We're hiding out in the forest temple, are we not? Yeah, look at that. You don't like purple stuff very much now either, do you? I'll purple you right in your purple appendix. Because it's bruised. I've been kicking it. Beautiful. Cheer for me. For I am the appendix kicker. Very good. Hey, thankfully it's not an organ you actually need to survive. But it's enough to teach him a lesson, is it not? Very well done, princess. That was quick. Uh, ordinarily, these stages, I feel like, take a little bit longer and... That one was, but five minutes or so? And we nearly, nearly, nearly got every single sparkle gem, which is mildly frustrating. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's cool, right? It doesn't matter either which way. We probably have enough to continue on, and that's ultimately all that matters, but gosh darn it, I want to, I want to get all of them at least one more time before the end of the Let's Play, and as I understand it, we're running pretty low. On stages. We've got two here left on the top floor, right? Top floor, that's it. And then in the basement, we have... Oh, I don't know. Probably like five? Maybe less? We probably have a new one now with the completion of this. We probably have the Kung Fu Sparkle Spirit or whatever to do, but I, I, I'm not going to do that one because we have other ones that take precedence because they've been waiting, marinating, baking for longer, and by golly, it would be rude to cause them to wait any further. They've waited their turn. They've been good little doors, and you know how we feel about doors that are good. We reward them with battles, just as we should. So that's the Kung Fu one, I guess? Dark Space and the Great Meteor. No, that's the uh, the Mighty one. <laughs> But we also have the detective, which comes first, and then here's the kung fu. Yeah. Do we have anything on the left anymore, or are those all complete? Just double check here. No, there's one more? Okay. At least one more. Hold on. I kind of pulled that. No, just one more. We've got the ninja and the patissiere done over there. So let's come this way. Do the dark museum. Did you say the purple mystery? A dark museum and a purple mystery. Not even beating around the bush anymore, are we? Jiminy Christmas. Uh, the purple is the problem. Nobody here likes grape-flavored anything, just like my wife! And it's too bad. Grape-flavored things are pretty cool. I don't like it that they're being so uh, rigorously applied to the forces of evil. Couldn't they have used something nasty like, I don't know, like banana-flavored candy? That's gross. Or like root beer? Huh? You know, so, uh, grape is good. Golly gee Williker, it's an alliteration. A detective sparkle is somewhere we should ask around. You never know where to find clues. Talk to this guy. And the detective sparkler. <laughs> nope, so I haven't seen him. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm gonna... I'm gonna point at you! <laughs> it's a baddie. Oh, yeah. What do you have to say for yourself? Dressing up as someone else. You know cosplay is banned. Okay, what about you? Did you hear that Detective Sparkle has joined up with a Madam Grape? Isn't that great? Yeah, no, that's not true. You use a bad dude. I can tell by pointing at you! Ah. How dare you? Very rude. Go sit in the corner with your friend. That's what I thought. Sparkle? What's that? I've never heard of it. And there's certainly not one of them trapped here now. Uh, go home or something. You dare tell the detective to go home? That, my friend, is suspicious in and of itself. Ha ha! You too go put your nose in the corner. Sit on your thumbs and think about what you've done. You saw right through me. Who else is there? Ooh, ooh. Other people. But treasure first. Treasure. You know, these are mine. Priceless relics? Yeah, whatever. They're in the museum. It's free, baby. Ain't nobody gonna stop me. Ooh, precious relics. I say. Pocket chain. Chain. And there's more, there's more, there's more! No, ignore the door! No, oh, there do be a flyer flying out of it. Well, money first, alright. Money, money first. Money first? No, the game says ignore money, acquire tattered pieces of paper. Just in case anything happens to me, I'm leaving this note behind as a guide. The central door will open once exhibits with the shared element are examined in the proper order. Interesting. So it's a puzzle. Exhibits with a shared element examine in the proper order. You must have already shown impressive skill to get this far. I'm positive you can solve this. I mean, I don't know how impressive it is. I just kind of pointed at everyone I saw. 
and they got very, very anxious about that. So <laughs> I'll continue to point. Thank you. Uh, particular things in the right order, huh? It's a message from the Detective Sparkler, which means we'll probably find them or at least step closer to it past that door. Let's check out the exhibits and find any of the shared elements mentioned in the note. Sure. Yeah, we can do that. But first, you know, money. You know what I'm saying? Like, all things in due time. <laughs> and now, what's up, dude? Well, there's a shared element beneath some of the exhibits, huh? Well, it's not those little round things. They're decorations and are meaningless. Little round things, you say? Little round things, huh? That makes me point at you! Ah, uh, when I, I just like squares better. Oh, God. So, little round things underneath this vase. There's four of them there. Nothing here. One under this one. Okay. So, we got one, two, three, four. Let's start with, let's do with that. This is a one. Ancient sparkle relief. Point at it. How nervous do these inanimate objects get when gazed upon? Not nervous at all. They loved it. Perfect. Now we're looking for a two and a three. I didn't pay a whole lot of attention back here, so I'm not certain whether or not we missed any. It doesn't seem like we did. No, it'll be continuing on to the right, which there was a door. Unless, of course, it could be on the wall. Not something I considered. However, what we're passing by does not seem to have any sort of insignia beneath them. No, nothing here. All right, a two and a three. Two and a three. Yeah, you move. Nothing to say here. Move along. You tell me to move along, I say I'm going to point at you and my arm is strong. Ah, how dare you point at me? It's rude. It's also rude to stand in front of the exhibit. People are trying to gaze upon it. This is number two. Pink. Oh, oh, oh. I pressed A instead of B. Excuse me. You know, even even detectives are known to <laughs> known to make mistakes from time or two. Number two complete. Now we just need to find number three, presumably also hidden by a seat. Hmm. Hmm. Let me just get some money first. <laughs> oh yeah, it's more money. Yes, right. We got a a lift here. I should I should have pointed at that dude first or talk to him because this is peculiar why do i want to come up here what's happening help i'm stuck uh i can look at your stuff here can i just take your bow did someone leave it behind okay well i don't know how to get to you buddy but i can talk to this guy i just cleaned up in here so don't touch any of the statues so what does that mean? He rotated one of them improperly and thus hit, has hidden the, the stuff that we're looking for? It's probably the one that's facing behind. The closest one to him. Ah. Let's just give that a look. Hmm. Nothing. Oh, his face do be... Ah. His, his nose, it glows. It's possessed. How terrifying. Go all the way around. I have to hit you one more time. And then what do we get here? Access to the door. I see, I see, I see. And then this has our three. Look at that. Boom, shakalaka. I still don't know what we're supposed to do up top. The golden Semic face statue. Uh -huh. Do love me a good face statue. Truly. Very, very riveting experience to gaze upon it. Now, let's gaze upon this room upstairs once more. Before we just abandon this dude to starve to death inside the museum... Let's see if there's anything else we can understand from this place, because clearly there's something we can do, right? Can I look at this? Yes, we understand. Yeah, someone left behind. Clearly, someone left. No, that's part of the exhibit. What are you thinking? Come on. Can we tight tightrope it on this? No. Hmm. I wonder. Can I rotate the big, the big one that we that we found? We were able to rotate all these ones. They have cogs. You see them underneath it. Did the middle one, the big trumbus? No, it did not. Hmm. So what happens if I rotate these? Nothing. Is this doing anything? We're doing... We're going to rotate them all once. And, and see if that actually changes anything. You hear that sound? It came from upstairs! By golly, I think we've cracked the freaking code. That's that's tricky. There wasn't really any sort of hint. Unless I just freaking missed it, which is entirely possible. I didn't see any hint that would tell us to do that. I was just getting 
Oh, I'm just getting jiggy with it. All right, cool. Give me that, and I'm, I'm gonna take this too because you know, no one needs that besides me. I'm the princess. It's tax. Gosh darn it! I'm the one who funds these museums, anyways. By golly, the buildings of the state, and I am the state. All right, onward to the left so that we can shine our magnification glass upon the final relic here. Number four. Beautiful. Thipota water urn. An urn for water? Aren't urns traditionally, like, filled with ashes? Isn't that what makes an urn an urn? Or am I, am I off base here? <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe they're water ashes. They liquefied the people. I don't know. Either which way, we got our first freaking gem here, which is honestly a little surprising. It took us that long. Hmm. Detective, it is I. The junior detective? What are you doing here? Mm, clearly, I'm seeking the detective Sparkla, uh, just like you. I mean, come on. What the heck do you think, crazy? Anyways, I've decided that they are deducing. I deduced they're trapped in this very room. Alas, I've run into an issue. There appear to be four Detective Sparklers. Yeah, I must ask you to find the real one. We shall meet again. See you later. You know, this is in your hands. Whatever. And I just, I, I, I saw them here and didn't want to do anything. Junior isn't going to stick around and help? That was surprising. I didn't think we'd run into Junior here. Anyway, let's talk to them and figure out which of the detectives is the real one. Once you've figured out who the real one is, use a strike of intuition to confirm. Indeed. Just point at them. So, uh, what do we notice off the bat? This dude's got a he's got the Rudolph nose. It's blinking. He's presumably pissed. Yellow blinker. Orange and blue are not doing anything at all. Hmm. So, well, let's start left to right. What are you so pissed off about? I'm the real detective, Sparkler. Hurry right, now. Use a tuition strike. Uh, I'd love to strike down my tuition, man. Student loans are out of control. The real detective, Sparkler, that is. I'm glad you finally made it here. I have been through a lot since Madame Grape captured me. It's time we escaped. Maybe? I mean, that doesn't seem off-putting at all. I, I need not say anything. You've used skillful deduction to get this far, and I'm sure your intuition will lead you to the truth. Hmm, that one didn't put, off, put me off either. Really, the only one I'm eliminating is Red Nose. So this isn't great. I'm the real Detective Sparkler. Get me out of here and we can solve this case faster than you can say deception. And once we're done, what do you think of becoming my very first assistant? I don't, <clears throat> I don't outright hate that one either, but I also don't quite appreciate it as much as these two. Let's talk to them again. And I suppose it doesn't matter because we have hearts to give. You know what I'm saying? We could, oh, yeah. Duh, duh. Oh, is he doing it? No, I'm not doing it. Uh, let me read that first one in. The real detective sparkler, that is. What? I'm the real one. Hmm. Uh, so this is the only one that's kind of like not pleading with us, I guess. So let's just try that. Why not? Point at you! It was true! Hello! I did it somehow, some way. Probably a bit of luck, but you know, hey. <laughs> All that matters, it happened. Thank you. You've proven to be quite an astute detective. There wasn't a doubt in my mind you'd puzzle out the solution to that problem. Uh, uh, now then, let's make our escape. Look at how he gestures. Wildly, he's gonna throw his shoulder out. We better go before he gets upset. Ah, more things to look upon here, it would seem. I thought we had finished it. A dead end. We'll have to find another way out. Let's look around and see if there are any useful clues to be found. Um, we need a way out. So what, this wheel? Could the wheel take us out, huh? Wheel? Detective, take the wheel. That's a giant gear. What's it for? I don't know. <laughs> All right. What about this picture of the castle? It's a painting of a castle. I wonder who painted it. Oh, it's a model of a museum. We look at the small details. They worked. Oh, this could use this. We can look at the small details to find an exit path. Really? Nothing? What? Oh, nothing seems to be amiss. Perhaps we could backtrack and look for another route. Um. I guess. I thought we were supposed to look for something here. That's a really, really big magnifying glass. Way too big to pick up. You doubt my arms? It's a globe. Think you can find the Sparkle Theater? No, I don't. Thank you, though. Mm -hmm. It's just a normal shop sign. 
Oh, there's a lot of books. And you look inside. Oh, just as I thought. The content goes right over my head. <laughs> I can't read. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess let's leave. Oh, really? What is this? The Lost Woods, huh? Fascinating. Hmm, we have returned. We should have returned to the room we came from, but how strange. Hmm. It appears we have been pulled into some sort of mysterious space. There must be clues around here, though. Isn't that what you said last time? I didn't consent to photos. What are you doing? It may come in handy as a reference. Sure. So what are we referencing here? What are we, talk to me. We should return to the neighboring room and continue our investigation. Okay. Doing a lot of moving around here. Two rooms that appear quite similar and a single door that connects them. We seem to be trapped between the two rooms, or so it would seem. There must be some clues how we can escape. I'll hang the photo I just took up on the wall. Let's hope it is of some use. Sure. Well, the first thing that stands out to me is that this is not in the prior room. That is a really big one. Oh my god. <laughs> it's huge. Oh, what are you going to do? Are you going to point at it? Yes. So you there, suspicious. Oh, it's levitating. That's terrifying. I don't like levitating magnifying glasses. It appears you've solved the mystery. Well done. Let's head to the exit. Onward. He's so exasperated. Do you hear the way he gasps? Uh, no, stop gesturing. Chill out, man. Don't rush me. All right. I got to open the treasure chest and stuff. Look at him. He's so impatient. Holy cow. <laughs> I get it, man. You were trapped here, but come on. You're safe now. Detective! Who cries out? Detective, this way, hurry! Is it really the junior detective? Well, if it isn't junior, and you even got here before us. Yes? Hmm. The exit's just this way, we must hurry. Gesture, gesture. Actually, let's take a moment before we do. I'd like to ask you a few simple questions first. What? I, I, I mean, sure? Hmm. As you know, the sofa in our office doesn't have a single cushion on it. If you were going to purchase a cushion for it, what color would you pick? What a weird question to ask at a time like this, but, uh, you know, I, a purple would be nice. Excellent. Now, if you're meeting someone at 9 o'clock, when would you arrive? Seriously? Such odd questions, but at least this one's obvious. If you're meeting someone at 9 o'clock, then you get there at 9 o'clock. Come on. I see, I see. All right, one final question. What do you think about this grape character? <laughs> oh, Madam Grape. I mean, uh... Oh, enough with these silly questions. We need to hurry the exit now. Gesture, gesture, gesture. Hmm, very well. We have all the answers that we need. Yeah, he's a grape. I'm gonna make some, some grape juice out of you. Get, I'm gonna point at you. <laughs> I'm gonna point at you because you are reeking of grape cough syrup. Ah, it was not the junior detective at all. What would have happened if we went through that door, though? Could we have gotten an extra gem or something? Because we missed one. Jiminy Christmas, what the chicken salad. Why? Why can't... Well, I'm doomed to never 100% a single course again. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to be thorough. But lo and behold, it's just not enough. And by golly, I will not be backtracking. Unless absolutely necessary, right? If we get to the end of the game and it's like, Hey, you are short some sparkle gems in order to proceed, then I'll backtrack. But in lieu of that, yeah, it's just a pride thing, I suppose. Oh, Jiminy Christmas, either which way. We came, we saw, we conquered, and we helped out another sparkle spirit, which is undoubtedly what I'd like to do once more next time. So thank you so very much for watching. I do appreciate it and hope that you enjoyed yourself. There's so many things you could choose to do with your time and you chose to spend it with me. That's awesome. With that said, I hope to see you again tomorrow.